Hello everyone, welcome back in Misari Science Class. Now, we are going to learn about mixture and how to separate solid mixture. Are you ready? Aye, aye, Captain! So first of all, we need to learn and to know what is a mixture. When different substances are combined such that no chemical change occurs, it forms a mixture. For example, salad is a mixture. Why salad is a mixture? Because salad consists of many components which were combined together and form a mixture like this. This salad consists of tomato, cheese cube, olive, vegetable, and fruit. So these components are combined together and form a salad mixture. Mixtures are all around us. Let us find out some example of it. Pond. Pond is a mixture because pond consists of many components inside such pebbles, sand, and water. Air also a mixture because in the air we can find oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and other gases. And the last, we have soil. Soil is also a mixture because soil consists of many components inside as well. Now, can you name other mixtures in your surrounding? Hmm, <laughs> think about it. Most solid mixtures can be separated to get the original substances back. There are different methods of separating this mixture. Some methods to separate them are picking by hand, sieving, and using magnet. Let's find out one by one. The picking by hand method. Can you see these pictures? And look at that. What are those people doing? Hmm, they are separating two different objects. This method is called picking by hand method. Picking by hand method can be used if the particle relatively large. And this is only useful when the particles are clear enough to be seen. For example, separating pebbles from rice. Next, sieving method. The sieving method can be used if the particles are too fine, which is too small. But it cannot separate two substances in a mixture which have the same size. For example, it cannot separate a mixture of chalk powder from floor. As you can see in the picture, the sieving method can be used if the particles are really small. Well, look at this. Have you ever wondered why we have hairs inside our noses? Well, the hairs are there for a purpose. They act as a filter for the dust found in the air we breathe. They prevent dust from entering our lungs. Can you think any other objects which act as a filter? <laughs> Lastly, Separate solid mixture by using magnet. A mixture of magnetic and non-magnetic objects can be easily separated by using a magnet. Look at this picture. 
The iron powder and floor can be separated by using magnet. The magnet will attract iron powder so that it will be separated from the floor. Can you think how it is used in our daily life? So that is our lesson. Let us conclude what we have learned. Aye, aye, Captain! We remember when different substances are combined and there is no chemical change occurs, it is forming a mixture. And how can we separate solid mixture? Most solid mixtures can be separated to get the original substances back by using three methods. They are picking by hand, sieving, and using magnet. That's all for this lesson. See you next time. Bye!